Hey guys, welcome back to Ganchi Plans. Today we're doing our October 2022 uh, flip through. So uh, we're still in this guy. This is a Chic Sparrow Outlander uh, wine pocket deluxe, all of those words in some order. Uh, it's been in my collection for a while, but only in active use recently. Um, I used to use this back when I got, first got it. I've really loved it. I love the way the spine, like the colors in the spine. I don't know, it probably doesn't really show very well in this bright light, um, but it's very pretty. And I've been in here for a couple of months now. It's still working out okay. I might change it up at the beginning of the new year. I have things set up in here until the end of January, so we'll see um, at that point by the new year if I want to change or not. But anyway, this is where I am right now. Oh, this is redoing that. Um, pocket size, did I say that? I think I did. And speaking of pockets, there's barely anything in them. And the back, I have this, um, I have some water tracker stickers and a straight edge. And then, uh, it's so nice after moving out of a file effects to be able to have room for your pen in a pen loop. This is like, who, who thought of making a pen loop that fits a pen? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Sorry for the shade, but file effects pen loops are too small. Our first insert here has sort of future planning stuff. Um, and this one I printed out, out of inserts that I make in my shop, GangiePlans.com. I, I don't remember where I got this sticker. I got it from a booth at Comic-Con in 2014, maybe 2013, no, that's not right, 2016 or 2017? I don't remember which. Anyway, this is insert 64. This is the month on one page insert that I have been using. Um, it's kind of nice to not have to print out monthlies and stuff in it. Fans. Like I've already printed them out. I don't have to print them out for every monthly plan with me. That's something uh, that I used to have to do. I decorated it a little bit more this month. Um, then I have it, like I said, through January. Then I've got a future log for the last couple of months of the year uh, where I jot down things before they happen. And then I can move them over to the monthly um, when they're just, you know, a little bit closer and make things a little bit better. You know, if a more important thing supersedes something boring, um, then that's going to go on there first, you know, this is folded up. This is the school's calendar. So I just sort of folded it like, in half and then I'm not going to show it to you because like privacy reasons, but that's tipped in here, um, which just means taped it in place. And that, um, works real nice. It keeps everything like, I don't have to resize it or worry about that. I just have it in here and I, I open it up like once a month to move stuff over and it's available whenever I need it. This is the, and, uh, oh no, this is the overflow for my future log. Um, and then here uh, is a sort of a last time done log. It's insert 63 and it's where I can keep track of like the last time my toothbrush head was changed or razors or that kind of thing. And then this is the same idea, but not like on a specific monthly thing. Um, so th this mostly right now is just for car care, oil changes and brakes. My husband does that and sometimes he'll ask me when my last thing was done. So this is my content planner, sort of, and I'll show you the blank one. Um, I put a line down the middle and put YouTube on one side and Instagram on the other, but I'm actually experimenting as we speak with doing that separately on just like a piece of paper on my desk because this just wasn't feeling big enough. Um, I think it works better for me when I use erasable pens, but I just didn't have them handy for enough times. And so now it's just a mess. I'm, I'm not really a big fan. So I might not actually end up using these spreads. Um, then we have library book log. I haven't been to the library since I printed this out. So, cause I'm back at work now. So hopefully soon. Um, then my, this is a wish list for my own personal stuff. If I, you know, have some extra money I can spend on myself. And the one in the middle here, which I can just take out and replace, though it is getting a little bit jaggy. Um, I don't know why that was half jagged, half janky is jaggy, apparently. This is insert 55, which is um, birthdays and anniversaries. And so I have everybody's like the year it happened. Did I put, I did not. I didn't put our niece's birthday on here. I need to do that. I'm pretty sure, you know what? I'm gonna write it, write her name. 
and then I'm going to confirm her birthday before I put it in. I want to say the 12th, but she was born like right before midnight, so I could be wrong. Uh, gift ideas for other people. And then the rest of this insert is all meal planning inserts. So I have it clipped to the most current one um, where I just put down, like as I'm meal planning, I write down what I want to get ingredients for, and then I check it off as I've done it. So nothing is assigned to a specific day, though I can at the bottom here. Um, this is space for a grocery list, which I don't use all the time or almost ever because it's just easier for me to um, to do my grocery shopping online and pick it up and to not bother with writing the list here. I just put it straight into the app. Um, but if I was going to make a grocery list and use it in the store, I would do it this way and have, you know, like dairy and produce and whatever and have it organized that way to make it easier to follow. Then the next insert is weeklies and dailies. This is basic Bujo style with, the, you know, the dot grid and everything. Um, in the front, I've got a little sticky with some weekly reminders, things I need to do every week, like the uniforms for school need to get washed twice a week on a specific day so that she has them. And we'll sort of flip through very quickly what my weeks and my days look like. It's very basic dailies and a little bit more decorative weeklies. Um, it's just kind of fun. I've been using stickers. I found that um, the uh, Happy Planner stickers fit really nicely in this size, which is the field note size, three and a half by five and a half inches. Uh, my daughter's birthday. Oh, everyone got sick. I've been using fewer dailies just recently. Um, I think I've been sort of planning in other places and that's the, that's why, but this is the current week. I accidentally drew a line too far. And so that's why I decided to just cover it in black and go for a monochrome. Um, and then I still have all of this space. This insert is from Zequins. I got it. Can you see that? Maybe you can see that. I got it off Amazon um, and I really, really like I'm obsessed with how soft it is. <laughs> Apart from anything else, it's just so soft. Uh, next insert also with my own uh, printables is like project lists. Basically, if I need to know what to do and what to put on a to-do list, this is where I find that. This is the 52 weeks future log, which has everything just like the weeks running into each other. So this is how I, when things are going to get busy, plan out what my focus is going to be for each week. I like to have like one project that's like the thing I'm focusing on. Everything else also crops up, obviously, but this way I have like one thing and then I can sort of plan it out if I know that a certain time of year is going to be super busy. Like we had a camping trip and then a birthday party and I had to par plan that party in two weeks because the camping trip did take precedence. Um, then this is a self-care bingo card that I have not finished filling out. I probably should make more of an effort to focus on that stuff and do that. But this is just sort of a fun way to keep track of some things that I need to do for myself every so often. Um, this is just where I'm keeping a couple of, oh, those were questions for the doctor. Uh, these are some post-it notes for use whenever I need a post-it note. Um, running to-do list, which is kind of almost a someday maybe, honestly. Um, then I use these inserts from, um, Peanuts Planner Co. They're one of my favorites. It's the goal planning insert. And since it's three tiny little guys, I can use this for small projects, which is great. Um, I have more coming up later. I have a couple context lists that are just home and away, home away. Um, the middle one here is looking kind of weird and, and full and cluttered. And so I think I might be transferring those things to here. Um, the, the new insert that I printed out. So I have like some, some duplicates of it. I found this pad of sticky notes that fit so perfectly in my planner at the Dollar Tree. And I just grabbed them. I just grabbed them. They were like, okay, that's perfect. The paper is like super janky quality and the, the printing on it is whatever, but the size is what matters. And the stickiness is sufficient. I've had worse. Nothing will meet like the actual post-it, like 3M post-it quality, but, um, yeah, for the size, because Post-it does not make a lot of stuff in that size. It's really good. This was like, for example, the office organization. I ha I'm going to do an office tour coming up in a few more weeks. I just filmed it. Um, so I did that as a small project. Some garden stuff, some, um, some clothes I need to get rid of. And then I have a waiting on list, a honeydew list, 
things should only go on here once I've actually asked him to do them. Um, craft projects that I'm currently working on, and then a someday maybe sort of generally. To read, to watch, to listen. Mostly it's to watch. Um, I don't do a lot of reading, and my to listen, honestly, is in my podcast app. Um, sometimes, you know, having digital planning systems, it works really well. Then the last insert here is an actual field notes. This is one of those like wooden ones. I think it'll tell me on the back what it's made of. Yes, no. Yes, no. No. That's a shame. It's made, it's got like wood on the outside of it, which is fun. And it doesn't tell you which kind. I, I think it told me when I bought it, but I guess I got rid of that part. So this is sort of like an index, but none of the pages are numbered. So I'm trying that out um, just to kind of be able to tell where things are in here. Um, girls room, they're going to get their own room soon. Um, this is some stuff for the birthday party that we planned. Um, there's more of these pages. I did a lot of the planning in here. Um, some notes from an organization video I watched. The um, Ferber method, I taped this in, or tipped it in with tape, um, when we sleep trained our baby. Um, video ideas, um, let me see. Yeah, you can see this is camping stuff. Um, I actually moved the camping planning to uh, like digital places. Um, it just made more sense. And I actually ended up printing out the, the packing list. That helped with my husband too, because he doesn't really, he's not going to flip through my planner to find stuff. This is my stuff. Um, and then this is stuff about some pricing permit inserts, um, more party planning here and here. Then um, we've got some meeting notes from a meeting at school. Um, and we've got some um, notes for my daughter's uh, Halloween costume. Then some content stuff, some school, more school information. And so this is just like a grid. Um, I'm almost halfway through it. I'm trying not to be precious with the pages and just use what I need to use. And then I can just always replace it with something else if I need to. And that's pretty much all of it. Um, I like the size. It fits nicely. It goes where I'm going. I'm not using this as my um, wallet anymore. Um, which is fine. I am using a different wallet and I think that's working okay. Um, I think only one time did I like bring this and think that I had brought my wallet. That's sort of the only issue. I'm just getting used to it really. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, let me know your thoughts below um, and what you guys are planning in right now. Are you switching it up at all in the new season? Does, does that, you know, the weather cooling down make you want to move into something with a warmer tone or do you just kind of use the same thing all the time um don't forget to subscribe have a super productive day and i'll see you guys in the next video next thursday bye